Paper was first made in this country around 1500, and in those days it was all made by hand, and they started with cotton rags. What you actually need is any source of cellulose, and today they use a lot more wood pulp, and in between they've used all sorts of things like esparto grass. It, basically, it's a source of cellulose which will give you the fibres which will knit together to make the paper. What we're doing today is using old school paper which has been chewed up and it's going to be recycled. You mix it with water into a sort of sludge and then you put your sludge in a big tank of water and that's where you make your paper from. And what I'm going to do is to lift some of those fibres out on a nylon mesh which has actually got my ugly mug sewn into it like that. It's going to make a watermark in the paper. First of all, I dip that very carefully and then lift it up to catch up some of the pulp on top of my mesh. Then turn the whole thing over, and this is quite scary, onto this bit of hand towel. So that first process was the forming and now the pressing. So I take a sponge and I squeeze gently, which is compressing the fibres together and also taking out some of the water. Now with luck, if I lift that out, it will all come away from the mesh and you'll find here a not very beautiful piece of paper with, look, 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 it's got my ugly mug on it. And in fact, that needs to dry. We'll use a hot plate, but in the old days they hung them all up. And what you wind up with is something like that. Isn't that terrific? This method of making paper was slow and sheets were limited to the largest size of frame a man could carry. In 1802, mechanisation was introduced into the process when two London stationers, the Faudrinier brothers, introduced the world's first paper machine. It may look primitive, but this was the beginning of a great industry. This is Frogmore Mill in Apsley, just outside London. It's home to Britain's oldest working paper mill. I've come down now to see the big Faudrinier machine, and I'm with Mike Stanion, who knows about how it works. Uh, they're just getting up steam. Mike, before it starts going, tell me how it works. Well, first of all, the pulp comes down at this end onto this is called the wire. And this is the same as that little mesh I was using? More or less the same as that, yes. OK. But very quickly, the liquid drains through. It goes underneath and it's pumped back upstairs to be recycled for the next batch. Right. The water is sucked out and then it passes under this rotating dandy roll, which smooths the surface of the paper. Ah, so it's less lumpy than mine was. Yes, that's right. OK. And here we have the press roll. This is what you were doing with the sponge. Oh, the sponge. Yes, this is actually the press. So section. it's like a mangle. Absolutely. And then it passes through here into the drying section, where there's 20-odd cylinders all heated by steam to help evaporate the rest of the water that's in the paper. Where does the steam come from? That is the exhaust from the steam engine, which is actually driving the whole of the machine. It's all driven by steam engine? Oh, wonderful. Recycling. And so you're recycling the steam recycling to heat the, the rollers, all 20 of them. That's terrific. Now, tell me about these things here. That is a Mulready envelope. This one is 170 years old. It's a piece of paper wow. from the very first uh, postal system in this country. They're made at the next mill down by right. uh, a man called John Dickinson. He was around right at the time when the penny post was being introduced. And this was pre-printed. So you went to the post office, you bought your envelope for ah. two, two pence, you then wrote right on the, back. On the inside. Yes. yes, and then just folded it up so it becomes its own envelope. You then sent it off and it was delivered. But they were afraid at the time that people were going to forge these things because anyone could print them. Because the stamp was on it. Because the stamp yes. was on it. So what they did was they inserted into the paper while it was wet in the machine some threads of silk. Oh, yes. And you can see You that can see them there. there. Yes. Yeah. And that was an anti-forgery idea. Very clever. And did that idea catch on? Yes, it's still going today. If you've got some money. Money? Some notes. Me? Yes. Well, I, I do happen to have one note here, yes. Oh! So you mean this metal that, strip? That little strip derived from this idea. Oh, that's very clever, yes. isn't it? Thank you very much indeed.